Yeah, so it'll be out this fall, uh, around October, kind of like Halloween. Um, we did get the license a little bit later, so that's why you're seeing it come out next this coming Halloween versus you know when it actually aired. Um, but we're really excited about it. Uh, each proton pack is specific to each kid, so the the, the, mo the moms they're the ones who design the actual packs and the suits. So we had to make sure we got those exactly right to make the moms happy, to make the kids happy. So we're really excited about that. Um, so each one is specific to each kid. But we did something a little different when it came to the suits. We worked with Sony on this, and we wanted to kind of pay homage to um, the original Ghostbusters. And we wanted to look at what their color of the suits were versus the kids. The kids have different shades of, of brown on each suit, so it's a little different. And you go back and you look at the Sony ones, they're pretty much the same. Every, with Ackroyd, the whole, the whole bunch, they're all the same. So we're like, you know what, let's do the same color for all four. So we're paying homage to the old, old Ghostbusters at the same time. We're also doing the, the packs, the Proton packs, are specific to each kid. So we're paying homage to them and their parents for doing that, for the great work that they did. So we're really excited about that. And then you have the Ghost Trap for Dustin, which is a unique, I think, fun little detail. We put dart in it. So you have a little polywog in that stage of being a Demogorgon. And he's, as you can see right here, it is right there, and he's going to pop out, and you can see him. So that's kind of exciting. And then Will gets his, and I'm going to put this in air quotes, his JVC camera. But we can't call it a JVC camera, so we're calling it a TMP camera for Todd McFarlane. Uh, so we're pretty happy about that. Um, each kid has the same exact shoes that they've worn over the, the two seasons. So we're, we're trying to hit those two. Um, can't say which brands they are. We know which brands they are, but we can't say them. Um, but we're really excited about that. Um, and we're really excited about the Ghostbusters 4 pack that comes out next, well, this was this October, yeah, 2018. So, really excited on that one. Then we have Punk 11 over here. So you've seen the curly-haired 11, you've seen the bald 11, basically. It looks like, you know. Um, but you haven't seen Punk 11. We wanted to pay homage to who we are. We are a dark action figure character company you know we've done some dark stuff with spawn and everything before and honestly she said that she felt she looked a badass when she had the makeup on she had her jacket and everything so we're like you know let's make a badass 11 let's make a punk 11 we're gonna go and refine her detail like the, too much of the eyeshadow that you can see it's a little dark um we're gonna refine that a little bit and then we're gonna change up some some color on her jacket but she's also gonna come with the baby mask from episode seven now that episode was taken in different ways. Some people liked it, some people didn't. But it was a dark episode that you saw Eleven use her power, and then at the end of it, she changed her ways, and she didn't do what people thought she was going to do. But we wanted to give people an accessory that said, all right, this she's, she's dark, she's something new and unique. So we gave her that baby mask as well, which is not here, unfortunately, but she will have that in packaging. And it does fit perfectly, it goes right over the head, and we love it. She has this unique, dark, um, kind of cool look.